This Star Wars Destiny video is sponsored by Face to Face Games Toronto. They're currently running a special promotion for VTTV viewers. If you spend more than $100 on an order of Star Wars Destiny cards, you can choose from one of the three legendary cards displayed on screen right now to include in your order for free. If you spend $200 or more, you will receive all three. Face to Face Games is selling everything from Awakenings and Spirit of Rebellion singles, to Spirit of Rebellion booster boxes, to full Saga sets for both Spirit of Rebellion and Awakenings. Anything you could possibly need to round out your collection. So either email them directly at Toronto at facetofacegames.com or visit stores.ebay.com slash facetofacegamestoronto. Face to Face Games will ship to both the US and Canada. A link to the full details can be found in the video description, and don't forget to tell them which promo you'd like to receive and that VTTV sent you. Thank you for supporting VTTV Live. Hello everyone, welcome back to round two of six of the recent Revenge of the Sixth Spirit of Rebellion release tournament at Face to Face Games Toronto on May the 6th, 2017. If you're watching VTTV Live, I'm Victor. And I'm Shane. And uh, so uh, just as in round one, we got a VTTV member on camera. So that's uh, my handsome face, so you see on the left side of the screen, uh, playing one of my pet decks. Uh, since the release of Awakenings, actually, which is Hero Mill. Of course, that's become a lot better with the release of some of the new Spirit of Rebellion cards. And sitting opposite from me is none other than Starkiller Base's John Gobey. Uh, he is the creator of some of the really great alternate art cards that uh, are displayed on the screen right now, and he's been giving them away as prizes on his channel, as well as uh, just donating them to tournament organizers across North America to uh to feature in some of uh their tournaments so really great guy and uh he's playing his elite baby vader and elite kylo ren deck you said you had a name for it well yeah people call it the emo kids or you know obviously john's channeling his angsty teenager um, <laughs> but now i gotta ask you victor right off the top i saw that did your your um battlefield was unga Utu Gunga, Utu which is Gunga. very non-standard for a Padme deck. Padme deck almost always goes for Command Center, especially with Snap to... So I'll, I'll tell you the major difference between my hero deck uh, and the two other Padme, Maz, Snap decks that were in this tournament. Uh, just as a quick aside, there were 18 villain decks and 9 hero decks at this tournament today. So a 2 to 1 villain ratio. So villains still going strong. I think that's a holdover from Awakenings, and I think you're going to see that um, even up quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, again, this was only two days after the release of the set itself, right? So uh, whereas there is the opportunity for a lot of experimentation, uh, especially with the tournament where there are packs at stake, people want to win more product. Mm -hmm. uh, I think people want to stick to things that are somewhat more familiar. Of course, the deck on the right, the, uh, the Kylo Vader deck, used to be a Kylo Dooku deck, and I think that... Baby Vader is a much better uh, fit. Well, Dooku is really hurt deck. by Vibro Knife, um, yeah. so he's, he's his stock has dropped quite a bit. Uh, so you got some two uh, Spirit of the Rebellion upgrades in play. You got Makashi Training, which is a great addition for a melee aggro deck. Um, it's holochronicable. You wouldn't think so. It kind of looks like a weapon, but it's not. <laughs> uh, it's got all plus sides. So when you're dealing with, you know, uh, well, Vader's got the Baby Vader's got the range side, which can be a little annoying with the training, but Kylo's got the double. Uh, sides as long as you have a little bit of money and then on your side we have spy net which i think is is, is a great addition to that mill um, yeah it gets you that every time focus and padme's got her focus side plus i'm sure you got maz's goggles in there if you have them uh it's a lot of opportunities for that to mill the extra card off the top of the deck so uh very quickly just to go back to what you were saying before the the major difference between my mill deck and the other padme maz snap mill decks in this tournament was i decided to go e maz instead of e snap uh, which is so that's why I'm not running command center. Those decks run command center because they're able with two snap dice, uh, they're able to disrupt their opponent's resources yeah. a lot more reliably, mm -hmm. and therefore they can wait a lot longer before claiming the command center. Yeah. Because uh, traditionally, you don't want to play command center in a in a controlly mill deck because your opponent's almost always going to claim first, and so they're going to be milling you out almost as fast as you're milling them out. Yep, I can definitely see that. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Uh, though Snap deck dice you can is, is pretty weak. You can usually leave it out there for quite a while. 
Um, but we see that uh, John's showing, I mean, he's got some pay sides, but he it was scary if he had some money. He was showing oh, uh, yeah. six damage. Uh, now he's got Kylo, uh, the, the Young Vader special, which is quite good, again, in, in, especially against your deck that's probably not going to kill anyone. It's going to be very hard. You can do three damage for one damage to himself. Th- this deck, uh, it really uh, takes advantage of that battlefield there, the Emperor's Throne Room, because uh, obviously Kylo, both Kylo and Vader have special sides. So no matter which one you go after first, uh, for the remainder of the game, uh, John's going to get some utility out of that battlefield. And until, you, until you hit Poe. And yeah, you feel really, yeah, exactly. really silly for having. That. Well, I would love to see that match. Uh, I I don't know how many Podex uh, were in this uh, this event. I don't think there were there were a lot, um, which is actually quite surprising. So uh, that's me resolving the Padme special. I believe I played one resource to make him mill those two cards there. So that's a Viber Knife. That's a really good hit for me. Mm-hmm. Um, Excellent. Yeah, I see you have a two. Two, two Podex, looks like. I see you have a, a Con Artist in hand, which is, again, is another great addition from Spirit Rebellion for this type of deck. Um, and that the special on that lets you... It's a growing. It's one of the few, like, increasing specials. It gets uh, first time, it's one off the top, then two off the top, then three off the top, etc. Uh, now, did you... Uh, and, of course, the best thing for this deck was <laughs> Ammo Belt. Ammo Belt. So yeah. how many... And of the recursion, how many of the uh, annoying recursions did you have? How many cheats? How many Rebels? So I was running two cheats, uh, two second chances, obviously, and two ammo belts. Didn't quite go super deep and play the away. rebels, no, because I, I don't have enough reliable discard sides mm-hmm. to to be able to snap that off as uh, it's more of an Urso thing. Um, but so so the card you saw on top of my hand for a minute there was uh, the Loth Cat and Mouse. Uh, that's the basically it's the hero he doesn't like you. Except the difference is that they get to choose which dice of yours to remove. And they get to do that first. Now, uh, I will say, though, that uh, it's actually not that great in a deck that has Snap Wexley. Because if they're wanting to claim the battlefield and they don't have any resources, then they're going to remove that Snap Dice. Uh, so you can see I was thinking for quite a while before before resolving, or sorry, uh, deciding not to resolve that cat and mouse. And uh, it looks like John has decided to focus on, on Snap. I think that's good because Snap, of course, is the only character in my deck that isn't uh, able to be second chanced. All right, and he's going to stop from claiming the battlefield, which yeah. is quite good for him, or at least it's going to cost him for sure. Yeah, Snap. I, I, Snap is a really good. I think he was a very underrated for the set coming out. I mean, yeah. his deck is, is his dice is weak, but the battlefields have gotten they already were some good ones. But if you you often see with Carbon Freezing Chamber, which can be a, just a brutal. Mm-hmm. Um, battlefield to not to be able to claim, especially when you're playing, especially when you're like a Vader Raider deck or something with a really good dice that you're leaning on. Absolutely. So that was me discarding the con, the con artist there to draw back up to five. I think I didn't think I had time enough to play con artist in this game, especially with the the aggressive nature of John's deck. That's an interesting choice because I think I don't think you're going to win by killing. I think we, you're going to win by yes. by um, milling. So your con artist was a pretty solid way to do it. But I guess you wanted to to find cards like C3PO, which is yeah. probably the best hero card. It's it's a little disgusting, uh, especially when you got like two discard two disrupt sides and stuff like that on. <laughs> yeah, I think I think with the combination of C3PO, it's really what makes Snap deck. Sorry, Snap's dice uh, a lot scarier. And speaking of Snap, yeah, <laughs> Snap just uh, fell off the board there from uh, just thanks to Young off. Vader uh, delivering two. And you know, uh, we can see. We're, I think we'll start to see as the game goes on the difference between having that extra dice in the upgrade and, and quite a good one in Makashi training versus you not being able to get any upgrades out yet. Like your game plan is going to slow down. So you can see here that uh, John has actually been really controlling the tempo of this game. I've only been able to get one support and one, sorry, two supports out. No upgrades on either of my characters. Ooh, a little scary. Uh, second, uh, yeah. ba- Kylo rolls in the special. You're holding a second chance. You're hoping for the lock cat and mouse, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, so um, he, he was able to put me on the defensive uh, long enough to prevent me from actually playing anything onto any of my characters. So that's uh, me rolling out a focus with the Maz die. Let's see if I remember to use a spy net here. Well, if you remember Maz's ability, I think. It's yeah, probably <laughs> I think about it. I think maybe the the first oh, it's turn a spy or something yeah, is it's when easy I to forget. To. No, I think you forgot. Yeah. It. So I think I think it looks like I forgot to uh, to resolve the spy net. I mean, they're both reactions, so mm-hmm. you could have resolved it after. But. Yeah, <laughs> and I think I do make a comment to John uh, sometime later during this turn 
uh, that I did forget to use the spy net. And there's John making use of the battlefield by uh, flipping his Kylo dice to the special. Yeah. Um, one th- one good thing about this deck is that it's really able to claim early very quickly because it obviously all its damage sides are very are harmonized with each other, mm-hmm. so you can resolve a lot of dice in one action. Uh, so there is me. Well, my apologies. He uses the actual special and, and uh, just okay. claimed the resource. My bad. Um, so in comes C three PO. Uh, I think that mill side is probably what you want anyway. But yeah, I was hoping to get another get discard side. That's uh, John playing overconfidence there. So I have to reroll both dice, and then he removes the cheapest one. And of course, because the special effectively counts as a zero, zero. that's the one that gets removed. And that was the one that I wanted. <laughs> Which is a very good yeah. point with C three PO in that you can resolve blanks. Yeah, as specials because they're also zero. Yeah, uh, there was some uproar about that ruling. So it takes one, take one resource. Uh, now that Padme has a second chance on her, it's going to take a lot more, I think, for for John to chew through here. So now the the next part of this puzzle is me trying to dig for an ammo belt because yeah. <laughs> you need you're definitely going to need that extra life. Oh, there's the bind all things in John's deck, which. It's definitely a good upgrade, but I think a lot of people um, have moved away from it, considering it to be a bit slow. They'll go yeah. with Enrage. They'll go with just straight Holocaust. John told me after this match that he actually, like if you were to revise this mm-hmm. deck, well, number one, he, he thought actually that uh, FN 2199 would be a better pair with Elite Vader. Um, it's a very different deck because yeah. you, you're forced to load it. I mean, you're going only two colors and you have to load it with a, a lot of weapons for FN or people do. So you yeah. tend to get to some you know some questionable choices in your upgrades uh i don't know I'm, I'm not sure but it is definitely a good deck but yeah i think especially when you're going with an aggro melee you're only going to play two three upgrades so you might get a resource or two off the binds thing it's just not as good as it was in like the i'm going to build a huge massive you know dooku days right when you get more money off of it so i go ahead and roll out padme first looks like a one discard side gets rolled there um hopefully i remember the the spine at this time so second Makashi training, oh, so the damage this, this, is really coming now. This Makashi training, these two Makashi trainings were probably the the worst upgrades he could have played against me. Like, I wouldn't mind if he was playing uh, mind probes or whatnot against me. But those Makashi trainings, especially with the mm-hmm. the uh, the black melee sides on on both characters. Yeah. yeah really the house on the damage. And it, the interesting thing about Makashi is you, you hardly ever see somebody use the action. Um, yeah. And that's to remove it. Um, because it's just there to provide pure damage. And the action's a, a bit weak. Uh, you have to remove the dice to remove a melee, which you know can work against Vader, but almost anyone else. It, and there, I can't see if he has, I believe he has a resource. So that's yep. five damage, and that's eight damage. <laughs> yeah. That's eight damage off young Vader with one upgrade. It's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> this deck is what the Grievous Dooku deck wanted to be yeah. so badly. I Most think. definitely. Yeah. Costing's a little bit better. Definitely the special is better than Grievous' special because it almost never got to fire with 10 health. <laughs> so so my one Maz die, my one focus die, of course I haven't <laughs> I haven't rolled out C3PO, C-3PO yet, but I am considering the cat and mouse. I go ahead and roll out C3PO yeah. instead. Cat and mouse would be a good choice. <laughs> no, I maybe maybe I decide to use the cat and mouse first. Because you could you're gonna cut out two damage yeah. no matter what. It's like a free field medic for yeah. a focus. I mean the best you can get out of it is like a one discard off C3PO. Yeah. And so there there's me removing his uh three for one there. Of course, it doesn't matter because his special can still deal three, three damage, right? But well, you remove five effectively, yeah. so that's wow. Well, until the until <laughs> wow, until six more damage. He doesn't yeah. have the money to pay for it all, <laughs> but he's going to do four seven, <laughs> which is pops the second chance, which is a very unfortunate number for yes. you. <laughs> so I think I, this is me doing the math here, seeing seeing if I could uh, hold on to that second. But chance. you have a resource and electroshock in your hand, yeah. And I do need. I want to hold on to it because. Uh, you know, yep. if belt. I if I draw an ammo belt next turn, it's not really going to do me any good mm-hmm. if uh, if I don't have the second chance or, already. Yeah, you on need to get another it. cheat and some money. Yeah. yeah. So electroshocking the special there makes sense because it's three and he's going to take the one. Yeah. It doesn't matter to you. Well, yeah. So there there yeah. is a total of six damage, I believe, going on to uh, Padme, putting her nice. at nine. So hanging on by a thread here, uh, and I claim first because I want to be able to play that ammo belt on my Padme as my first action next turn if I draw it. Yeah. So I think what you're going to see me here is dump my entire hand to dig for <laughs> dig for that ammo belt next turn. I can see that. I'll, okay. Oh, well, then got, John gets lucky rolls and rolls the that. one. <laughs> the, I mean, he had two. Oh, well, he had no money. So he only had, yeah. well, the, the special might have got him the one, too. Yeah. So he had a one and three. I guess it's taking the risk. I mean, that's just a sign of a good player where you yeah. just, you know that getting the kill is a lot more valuable than yeah. any card you have in your hand. 
So, so you get the second chance. <laughs> I, I get the second chance, but I only have two dollars now, so I need to find a way to generate some resources very quickly. I mean, C3PO can get you that, but can you get it in time is yeah. the question. That's a total of three actions, right? Rolling out mm-hmm. C3PO, rolling out another okay. die, yeah. and then using the action. Of course, Maz well, can do it in one action. Yeah, that's uh, roll out C3PO roll and roll out resource. Uh, well, you really don't want to see that. <laughs> Too far. I do get the Especially spy. With, I I think with the spy two other dice, <laughs> like two other dice on the board. Uh, okay, so uh, a, a little bit of a break there. I mean, it's still a three damage for one resource side showing on one of Vader's. So there's sides. a little bit of. I see one in your hand. A little bit of a blast from the past you don't see anymore. Oh, you remind remembering Maz's ability um, is that uh, uh, you have a data pad in your hand. Um, I see that less and less. It was definitely a darling of the early awakenings. You saw it drop off, and then uh, now it's uh, sometimes you see it, but often not. Data pad is good if you have a uh, a deck with a lot of specials on it because it allows you to resolve this. It's a basically a focus for specials that allows you to resolve those yeah. specials on the, on those other dice on the same turn. And there's a the yeah. what, a heavy duty telegraph of a. Uh, of a second chance by, by focusing <laughs> on to the... I would just yeah. be rolling my eyes if I was playing you. <laughs> All right. Oh, but, yeah, not so, in time. So it, it didn't matter that uh, one of Vader's dice's, dice was uh, blank because he just claims very quickly. Mm-hmm. Didn't even have to roll out his, uh, his Kylo Ren there just to kill off Padme. So now it's Maz versus the world. Uh, and at a mere eight health and really doesn't have any sides. I, I can't remember. If she. It's, it's hard to see on the screen. She has a mill side on her, like a discard side, but... No, she she has uh, two focus. Yeah. Uh, oh, she might have a mill side. I can't remember. And she has a. a now I, I do have money. Yeah, I do have spy net, and I do have the C three PO to uh, to assist in the mill. His stack doesn't look that small. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep everything. I mean, discard everything but the electroshock. Trying to draw. It. You just need Sorry, control now. Yeah, draw an ammo belt. There is a cheat. There is a friends in low places, which is great for uh, for getting rid of any sort of dice mitigation events in the hand, uh, anything like that. Unfortunately, I can't deal with no mercy, no. which I see in John's hand, <laughs> which can might be might help your real strategy, but I'm sure you'd rather they yeah. not have it. Oh, another solid roll yeah, by J- Young Vader. John's dice ran really hot this game. Another so, four. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't care about the shield. So I think I'd take the deflect here, I'm pretty sure, because uh, uh, one of Maz's dice is a ranged damage side. And everything else, like dice removal, I'm not really all that concerned about. What I am concerned about is... Just uh, John being able to deal damage along with that dice removal. Yeah, manipulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, t- I, I, I totally agree with you because that none of the other cards are going to do that much to you. I mean, deflect is yeah. just a, a dice removal, and you can't get rid of the uh, the the, um, the no mercy, which yeah. I'm sure the one you really like to get <laughs> yeah. get rid of. Uh, so that's that's why why I take the deflect because it because of Maz's one range side there. That's yeah, too bad you couldn't get out of. I mean, you never had time, but the cunning would have been really good. Especially with Maz when you're down to two characters because you could claim very quickly. Now, he doesn't have any specials. Well, yeah. <laughs> so the he's got the Kylo of, special. I could, could use Vader, Vader too. <laughs> probably the Kylo is the one you'd be going for, but, <laughs> but I guess you could be doing that. So we got Maz with, you know, 15 health, which isn't tiny, but a big stack to go. Yeah. And there's no way you're killing anyone. So yeah, you so need I, ammo belts. Yeah, you need to, to, to go for the slow mill. <laughs> Now, are you thinking about putting out the other C-3PO? Because it does have a mill side. Well, and I couldn't ability. do that because it's, uh, it's a unique card. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. I, I would love to do that. but mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good point. So I think that's just going to be discard to I mean, a second Spinet would be really good to see. Oh, yeah. I, I think uh, throughout the day, actually, Spinet did more milling work than Padme Special Side did. And so, and with... With the data pad, you can use the data pad to rotate on special to rotate to mills or focuses and stuff like that. Yes, so, except Spinet so why didn't only, you, why didn't Spinet you put only, it out? Spinet only triggers when on you roll. When you roll it, yeah. yeah. But exactly. I mean, just to get your game plan going here. So you didn't choose to. I mm-hmm. guess you're saving all your money for like popping second chances yeah. and uh, electroshocks well, well, and stuff. Well, like you said before, right? The data pad, if I were to play it right now, uh, it doesn't actually get me anything. Like the only specials on board are. The Kylo special and the Vader special. Mm-hmm. Well, you can't use it on other people's and, specials. Oh but, no, 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 no! But oh, sorry, sorry, yes. Yeah, so but talking, you could use it. You could use it to mitigate blanks uh, yeah. or change um, uh, Maz's dice or even uh, C three PO dice. So this is a huge roll by yeah. by John. And this John is what coming was, out with 
Wow. That's yeah. Two, two four, four, five, five six, nine. seven, eight, nine. Nine damage. I think that's enough to, to strip the... Uh, well, strip the shields? Strip no, the it won't. Shields, It'll no. get the shields and it get Maz yeah. to one life, which is scary because he is pumping out very consistent damage. <laughs> so I think... Uh, which is going to happen when he's basically using a full hand for rerolls. Where I where I wasn't, uh, I didn't respect Makashi training before this game. I think uh, I ended up uh, valuing a lot more after this match. Oh yeah, three plus damage sides. It has to be the right kind of deck. I mean, the other sides less useful, like the one shield nowadays. Yeah. Um, but so rolling a blank with C three PO, don't care about that. <laughs> um, man, C three PO, it's just been so good. Like I think one of the big one of the big complaints for me for hero versus villain is that. You know, backup muscle was just such a ubiquitous villain card. Mm -hmm. uh, you played in almost every deck that had yellow in it. Uh, Heroes didn't quite have that same thing, but I think with C three PO, it doesn't matter oh, if it's a mill deck. No if it's a, if it's a, I think I've seen Jin Commando decks uh, running that as well. Any yeah. anybody who has red is going to include it. It's just so good. There's always sides you don't care about, and you just rather turn into damage mill. Whatever. So here comes the big blast into poor Maz, who thought right. she was doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one hit point left. And uh, her boyfriend isn't around to take that damage for her. <laughs> for her. Yeah, I, at this point, I think uh, John was down to like maybe six or seven cards in their deck. So if I drew an ammo belt here on my next turn, uh, I think I would be okay. So you had an electroshock in your hand. We just, yeah. You were saving that for, I mean, could have cut two damage. Right? So again, I want to I take control of the battlefield very quickly. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Oh, one ranged. Oh, the ones <laughs> on the rerolls. I mean, he does have two more cards. It's a pretty good chance he gets. Yeah, it, so I mean, Vader has effectively there. four damage sides on him. I think. Yes. Is it four damage yep, sides. Yeah. Four so, damage sides. No resource side. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't be all that uh, surprised. So Vader saber, and I saw saber in the deck in the other kind. Now, that's another card that's really dropped off. I mean, you can see it in this deck. It yeah. makes some sense. Although redeploy with two characters is not as strong. It's just there's so many good upgrades available to blue villain now. You yeah. don't you don't see it as much. And there's your ammo belt. Oh. Just in time. Now, did I forget to discard the second chance there? Or? Well, no. You, uh, I think I did. No, I. Your damage is wrong. Oh, right, right. right. Okay. But I think we, we must have counted improperly because I thought oh. it would have been one life. Yeah, yeah, two yeah I thought so too. Okay, so that's. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I finally got the combo assembled. Yep. So you have ten, <laughs> 10 more life, effectively. And, and I have two cheats in hand, two too. Two cheats so in hand. Plus, tonight. I have another ammo, ammo belt. belt. I draw all my ammo belts this turn. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I just, you know, I can see why you're keeping it, but just slam it on. Yeah. Slam that ammo belt on. <laughs> Pay the dollar. Just for the, you know, the the the, the uh, morale factor. On yeah. The, oh, wow. So Kylo rolls in. He's got a very dangerous roll, which just took came to fruition. Yeah, wow, nice. you're going to need all the ammo belts you can. That's another... He's got the resource, so that's another five, seven, uh, nine, <laughs> ten, ten damage in a Kylo special. <laughs> that can go through, you know, definitely going to go through that ammo belt oh, and look, the look that. Spy. <laughs> See, this is where I count his deck now. It looks oh, like he has six cards left in his deck. Yeah, that's it, a lot to go when he's showing lot. ten damage because you're not going to have either the ammo belt or the second chance. I don't think left after this. Cheat away. Victor, it's, it's just this is all riding on whether I can whether enough damage and slowly plink away at his hand using C three PO, mm -hmm. uh, plus a spy net just to see if it. So you didn't I roll. You didn't use Amaz's ability when you rolled out. Uh, why is that? Yeah, I think the reason is uh, again I want to I want to actually use C three PO's die to mm -hmm. discard a card okay. from his hand. So yep. if I'm resolving two dice and I'm not able I can to see do that. that. Yeah, take the yeah. shield and use the focus. Yeah. yeah. All right, so ammo belt number one gone. But uh, I'm determined to make this game as annoying for John <laughs> as possible. <laughs> so I, what was that? That was me. Oh, that. So oh, he, that's right. So yeah. he chose to only resolve yeah. the, enough to pop the ammo belt. Now, you know, he's coming in to get rid of yeah. the second chance, which is unfortunate because <laughs> now you can't get the ammo belt on there. You do have three. Yeah. Cheat I, is one, though. I do have cheats. So if you, if you yeah. cheat... You can't get the. You need to take the resource. Yeah, and and the other thing about cheat, uh, it's actually something that I had to um, educate a player on later on in this tournament. You do have to swap a card in your hand in addition to playing the cheat. Swap the card in your discard. Yeah, you can't, it's not you simply can't. a return a card. Like the cheat is not the card that you're swapping. Yes, absolutely not. Yeah. 
because it goes into the limbo zone or whatever they define now um, between Okay, so he, this is the first uh, average roll that I've seen from John in a while, so that's a lucky break for me. Uh, and against a mill deck, yeah. a, a shield, it basically turns all the shield sides into blanks. Yeah. <laughs> because and, they're really of no use. And I uh, think that's me resolving a resource side with C3PO. Uh, John, a handful of ones. Says, yep. Pretty standard Kylo okay. <laughs> damage. So, cheat revealed, takes one. Maz is sitting now with... Uh, Three damage out of eight. And he has not punched you. So that, you know, that's a win. Yeah. So uh, both both of Vader's dice are gone, which are the dice I actually are am the most afraid of with the Emperor's Throne Room out there. Uh, mm-hmm. So now I have some time to actually, I can cheat and bring back a second chance right now and play it. I think, I mean, I, I don't know if John, how afraid of the Millie is, but I think I would, I would throw away some cards to... Uh, you know, resolve because you got one side in the lightsaber and two sides on Kylo to to make use of that. I believe it's a plus two, so that's you know substantial damage. Yeah, but I mean, unless it's the killing blow, it doesn't matter as long as you, I get the second chance on before. Well, you all you have to eat through it regardless. I mean, yeah, you, you know, you're gonna have to get that damage through anyway. Okay, so I return the second chance, but now this oh, gives this gives clever. John an opportunity, yeah, to uh, claim and try to get that second chance. <laughs> With the Emperor's, with Kylo's ability. Oh, no. He, oh, but then he elects to he do went the, for the two, two unblockable. Yeah, that, the two unblockable guaranteed sense, is yeah. better than the one and three. Although on average, he would have done two because, yeah. <laughs> or maybe 1.5. <laughs> okay, so slapping the second chance. So uh, for those keeping count, that is the second, third second chance. So third second chance. That's including ammo belt activations. Yeah. Um, Which in other ammo belts come yeah. down before so, <laughs> John could do anything else. Uh, so John, uh, during this, uh, I think it was one of the videos that he released on his Star Killer Base YouTube channel. Uh, it was the one where he was talking about ammo belt during his gray card review. He uh, he mentioned that he played in a tournament where one of the games he had to resolve something like thirty mm-hmm. to forty damage on a character because of the ammo belt uh, ammo belt second chance combo, and I. 99% sure he was referring to this game I, right now. I, it's, got, it's getting pretty close because Snap's 8, yeah. Madame's 10. And you... <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, uh, ammo belt again. But he keeps uh, rolling out pretty solid damage, like damage every turn. There's another 3, right? And he's probably going to re-roll into some more. Um, yeah, no, I found that, I've you know, I've been trying out a Padme... I'm uh, not Padme, an Urso Akbar deck. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I've gone to two che- uh, one cheat... Two rebels, two ammo belts, two second chance. Because you just some dan- decks can put out so much damage. You just have to have the life. So this is me playing uh, Friends in Low Places again to get rid of a, an event that costs zero one. Uh, this is probably one of my new favorite uh, cards for heroes in this set. No confidence in your dice, Victor. I'm surprised. No, you got no. to get rid of the field of your anger. Just don't roll blanks. It's easy to play around. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's a, Makashi yeah. just doing work yeah. every turn. Discard, discard to reroll. Looks like uh, three. He's got another five, seven. Yeah. He's got seven damage showing. Which <laughs> goodbye, ammo belt. Now, now rolling a bunch of uh, modifiers is good for me because it forces him to resolve more of his dice per per resolution of melee damage, um, which is an inefficient splitting of the the damage, mm-hmm. especially when dealing with second chance. Yeah, often second chance you have yeah. to over damage. So that is, is it looks like three chance. for one, yeah. yeah. So there goes the ammo belt. You should be down to three. Now I have three. six. Yeah. Oh, three, yes, three. that's right. Three out of eight. <laughs> There's a cheat in my hand again. <laughs> I just need to get resources. So you're holding on to the flank. Yeah. So you held the flank the whole time? Oh, I guess you could use it on the... Well, I mean, at this point, I was in straight up um, try to recur ammo belt second chance as much as mm-hmm. possible mode. And so I need to save money for that rather than... Removing right. one die, so, you, so. so you can you can cheat back. Oh no, you can't because you need two for that. Yeah. Oh, but then I, I guess I do use the flank there to oh, remove the Vader the die. Yeah, the Vader die. I think of of all the dice that are out there. Well, the Vader die is going to pop room. your second chance. Yeah, the, the lightsaber won't. Yeah. So he's sitting on three re- <laughs> three cards. So I bet he's thinking about maybe some possible re rolls because you know he wants to get that one damage as we've seen. John, he's very consistent with getting the one damage. John's like, okay, how many ammo belts and cheats have I burned through so far? <laughs> oh, so, so he discards uh, an enrage, which he doesn't need at this point. Yeah. Free roll. Uh, he's, he's less got, hot that time. He's got to be careful, though, because he's, like I said, he's at like five or six cards left in his deck. 
uh, and he's got two cards in hand. So, you know, I've actually, where at the beginning of this game, I thought I was done for very quickly. Mm -hmm. I've actually turned this into a bit of a contest here. Y yes. Um, now, your spy net's taking you a long way. Uh, yeah. One of the issues is, and with these Padme decks, uh, one of the issues I've seen when I'm playing against them mm -hmm. is that you can often get their deck gone, but then you don't their have a hand. lot of options to get the hand gone. Um, C3PO helps a lot with that, but it's slow. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so it was a smart claim. You claim the, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why you left the extra resource on the table. Um, you, because you could claim them all three at once, right? Did I have a Lothcat and Mouse in my hand? No, no, because of Mass's ability. I oh, can't right. Resolve Apologies. Two, yeah, and you resolve wanted, two, and you yeah. definitely wanted to get that, uh, yeah. um, special off the table, because that would have been the, all right. And so he, spell. he discarded to reroll with his last card in his hand. He did get the three for one damage there, or the, sorry, the two for one damage. To uh to pop that second chance. Now your deck's not looking any thicker. No, but no. he has no action <laughs> else. So, uh, so yeah, there there is that's the rest of my deck, yeah. and John's deck is empty as well. Uh, so of course this is the perfect time to draw that second spy net. <laughs> <laughs> Dollar well spent. Now he just got his holocron. That's the first holocron I've seen in his hand. So I'm sure he had another one along yeah. the way, but <laughs> that probably didn't make him happy. I don't they, see. I didn't see a lot of holocronable things coming out uh, in his hand along the way, but you know, it's it's a zero cost. So if you yeah. get any value out of it, it's probably worth it. So yeah, first action, <laughs> I, you show I him the second the spy net. Attack the oh, you cheated! Chance. I thought you were just yeah, no, goading him. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's, he's shaking his head too. Like he he's in a very good position, but uh, the scout this, is really good for yeah, you here because that's a way to active the mill. Yeah. Now you won't be able to play it unless you come up with a dollar, but of course. it would be a good thing to get out there. Plus, it's another, well, spine it's Oh, now look, Vader rolled his one discard side there, so <laughs> I had to hurry up and play my my second chance. But now now the mill is real on my side, because mm -hmm. now he's making me oh, discard he got a card. Oh, he got the scout. Uh, he got my win condition there. Yeah. So it actually, uh, he's ahead of you by three He's ahead of your yeah. mill deck by two <laughs> cards. Oh, my God. So, oh, C two P L response! Yep. Oh, you're okay. getting excited. Yeah, rubbing my hands together and clean. C2PL I don't know. You got to live through a damage. lot of dice damage here. Yeah, and, and I think you got, uh, you got ten life. This is this is my three dice to his what seven? And we've seen him do yeah. ten in a turn. Oh. All those rerolls are limited, so he's yeah. got to rely on some natural. I'm, I'm all out of I'm all out of tricks now. I think I just have to survive on my. Although you know the win condition is you got to remember with Mill is that um, it's at the you have to survive the round. round. Yeah, so he can still discard down for the kill. Mm -hmm. You know if he's if he's worried about the next round, you getting him. Do you still have a cheat in your hand? I do not. No, I yeah. used my last cheat. Oh, you don't have the money back anyway. It's yeah. expensive without ammo built. Okay. So okay, once again, second chance gone. Uh, resolving four damage, I think. Uh, I believe, I, oh, no, you're right. Four. Yeah. Four for, for a dollar. Yeah. I thought so, uh, it's all the dollar. One life left three. on Maz. Uh, no money for me. So I probably. Did I claim there? I think I claimed there, actually. I think I, think I think I claimed. Well, you had no mitigation, so yeah. you used all your dice. I, I think uh, I claimed because I just didn't want him to to Emperor's Throne Room into a special. Yeah. For Kylo, because I have at least I have two cards that cost one, and that would just knock off the second chance. So okay, so yeah, he takes he, a safer route with the cards and yeah. doesn't uh, uh, reroll. I can see that. I mean, it. I think I think time is on his hands as yeah, well because you're you. I mean, milling. What do you, I mean? You could on his side. You can right? play out the scout. It's a little risky for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I th thought you would because otherwise you're, you're maximum milling like one card. Yeah. <laughs> sure, so, right? so I with with the play of the scout here, I think I signal that this is basically the final turn in the game, mm -hmm. and um, my uh, my objective here is to just mill him out as uh, as much as I can. So he's so, sitting on four cards. So yeah, I don't think you can actually do that. I don't think you have enough. Oh, you could get C3PO with two focus. Yeah, and that's two. Yeah, scout with one. I don't know where the second one, the fourth one would come well, from. Well, did you catch the uh, the incredibly vital spy net activation I did there <laughs> with the rolling of the focus? You got to got to do your triggers. You can't yeah. forget. Uh, what was that? Well, for one, you can you yeah. see to be able to do the two mil there too, because the two disrupt is not going to yeah. do much. I think that I think that die was. Oh, lost. you switched to the special. Interesting. Did you did you not want to do the C3PO into that one? Yeah, or? I think I think I forgot about that actually. I think what I should have done was C3PO is new. Rolled out C3PO. Yeah. Um, I think I was just worried about some kind of yeah dice mitigation. I, I play this. It doesn't matter this. which card exactly. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I think for some reason I just didn't want to uh, have him get that card back into his hand like after he played yeah. it out. Well, Holocron has a focus. I mean, yeah. I don't think he'd play it out just because it's a battle of cards yeah. right now. But, um, oh, he got the mill. Yeah. Young Vader comes through. So 
And he's not going to get the no. kill, unlikely. I mean, I can't see him risking chucking the cards for, like, the tie. Yeah. Well, as you see right now, he doesn't need to. Oh, Makashi yeah. training. He just rolled a massive damage. Six damage? Right there. Six, yeah. nine damage. Yeah, yep. that's that's you're counting it up. But yeah. <laughs> no second like chance is going to save you. You only can survive seven. <laughs> so I just do the mill. So... Uh, so close, Victor. Yeah, it looks it looks like uh, he's just going to resolve his his melee sides one at a time, and then that's going to be enough to kill him off. So uh, that was well played by John. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised by how how close I got him mm -hmm. to to the mill victory condition. Well, in, in awakenings, people try I mean, obviously without mass and yeah. snap, but in awakenings, you know, with Duku Kylo, for example, and those rolls and and that kind of stuff, they don't have Makashi either. So it's, it's more damage than it was, but that. That you would have got halfway through his deck before you were dead, like yes. without the the second chance reoccurrence and stuff like that. That was the problem. Like you couldn't live long enough. People would do diplomatic immunity. They would do various things, survival gear to try to get enough. But it just the life wasn't there. Yeah, and and, then, and I think especially with the spy nets, the C three POs, and the the con artists. Well, he definitely did more than thirty. Oh, he used twenty in second chance alone. Plus I'm, I'm, eight for Moss, yeah, plus ten for Amidala. He, he eight. said something like thirty six or thirty seven damage. I'm pretty sure that was forty six. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, I think if you watch uh, Star Killer Base's video on gray cards, he does mention that when he talks about ammo belts. But that's the conclusion of round two. We're going to be back for round three. Don't forget to check out the Face to Face Games Legendary Madness promotion. Find the full details in the video description.